everyone, it's Megan. Today I'm going to do my first video in my top favorite series and I have a bunch of ideas for videos to do for the rest of this series but if you have any requests on things you want to see my top five favorites of please leave them in the comments below because I would love to hear what you guys want to see from this series and I just love favorite videos like current favorites, monthly favorites, weekly favorites, top favorites, anything about favorites I just love it because I think that it's so positive and awesome and it's so much fun to of course talk about your favorite things. So I thought today I would do my top five favorite fall and winter candles and I was gonna do just my top five favorite candles but then I was looking through my candle collection and I was like oh my god I love so many of these candles but like half of them were more spring summer appropriate and the ones that I'm showing you today were more fall winter so um, I think I'm gonna do two separate videos even though it's not spring and summer I just thought that it would be fun to share like all my favorite candles and I have been requested to do a candle collection video so I'm going to be sure to do that in the near future but these five candles are so amazing. Some of them I loved for a lot longer than others, but all of them I'm just totally obsessed with. Whenever I like want a cozy scent, I will reach for one of these and they're all different. So I think that if you like cozy scents or like fall winter scents, you will like something that I'm going to show you. And uh, first I'll show you my all time favorite winter scent and this is a woodwick candle and you guys know i love me a good woodwick i think this brand never gets talked about on youtube but it's seriously my favorite candle company so this came out i'm gonna say two years ago and this is the tree trimmings candle this is the one that we have had for I, would, I think we've had it for this will be our third Christmas having this candle. We still have this much left, like just a little bit left, and we have been burning it sparingly all these years because my whole entire family loves the way this candle smells. And it's like, I don't know, it's like sort of like the f like pine tree balsam scent, but there's like a richness to it, and it's very like... I don't know there's just something super cozy about it it's not just like tree smelling it's more complex than that so I have been sparingly burning this I have a smaller size as well but this year they came out with it again so this is one that I bought this year um, this is the name of it just in case you are looking for it and Oh my god I just cannot believe that they finally brought it back and I'm so thankful to have it and now I have a backup I want to buy like 50 more because I'm crazy and I never want them to not bring it back and then not be able to burn it so in the middle of me gushing about the woodwick candle my camera totally died on me so I have been cleaning my room and washing my makeup brushes for like an hour so hopefully my battery is fully charged or like at least charged enough to get through this video but as I was saying this candle is so amazing I don't know where it cut me off but it smells like Christmas to me it is such a perfect candle these are pretty expensive they're around like $25 full price um, but like I said we've had this for three Christmases we don't burn it like 24 7 all season long but we still have like a fourth of the way to go so if you burn it sparingly like you can enjoy it all season for years if you just don't burn it like all day so I'm really excited to have this backup of it and I have a smaller one as well from when it was originally released and um, I just want this forever it is my perfect candle and the glass is so beautiful like you can absolutely reuse this it's called the dancing glass because the wood wicks the flame like flickers with the wood wick and it crackles it's just a beautiful sensory experience all the way around and you can reuse this so that is enough about that I could go on and on and on about it but I will stop there this is a candle that I just absolutely love they re-release it every year as something different when I bought it it was called harvest coffee and I guess that it has been released as like espresso bar or like espresso something and I don't know what it was this year but when I got it it was called harvest coffee 
If you like the way coffee smells, even if you don't like the way coffee tastes, if you like the scent of it, you will love this candle. It smells just like you walked into the best coffee shop in the world with like freshly ground beans. And I remember as a kid when they, like before Keurigs and stuff, when they had the coffee aisle like with the beans that you could pour into bags yourself. I just loved that scent of just standing in that aisle and I don't even like coffee really. I like iced coffee from Duncan and I like some of Starbucks like seasonal drinks but I don't like coffee but I love the way it smells. So this is such a strong burning or strong throw of a candle. This is from Bath and Body Works by the way. Um this is a fresh one. I've already burned through one. I have this one, maybe another backup, but I just absolutely love this. It's a wonderful cozy scent. If you like gourmand scents, this will be right up your alley. And um, it's just so cozy. It like fills the room. It fills your whole house. It is so amazing. And I could smell this forever. And it, to me, it has a bit of a chocolate scent to it, like just a hint. Um, but Mostly it's just coffee and it is so fantastic and I will buy this forever. A really affordable candle option is actually from Walmart and I would have never given this brand of candles a shot unless my best friend Caitlin told me about them. They're the Mainstays brand and my favorite one is the Fired Roasted Marshmallow. And one of my favorite Bath & Body Works candles are like the fire, like the marshmallow fireside and the summertime s'mores. Those types of scents are my favorite. This to me is a perfect dupe for it. It just smells like the burning wood, like it has that woody burning scent, but then it has like that really like creamy sweetness of the marshmallows and it's just perfect. It is exactly like the Bath and Body Works one. I think this, the three wick is what I would recommend. There's a bigger one, but it only has two wicks and it can really tunnel down. So I would just say get the smaller three wicks. These are under $5 and it's super amazing, a dupe for the Bath & Body Works candle. It's super cozy. I love this, especially in the fall, but anytime I want a cozy scent, I usually reach for this one. Okay, this candle, you guys know the story behind this. I fell in love with this candle. This was called the Wine Cellar Mold Wine and Spice Scented Candle from Bath & Body Works. I got this from a Bath & Body Works outlet last winter when Jacob and I went, and... It was like the associate or whatever at the store told me that these types of candles were never released at normal Bath & Body Works stores. It went straight to outlets and never went to the stores, but I loved the scent of this. It smells exactly like a Victoria's Secret um, holiday lotion that I used to have. It smells exactly like it. It smells so, so incredible. So. I burned it slowly, slowly, slowly for an entire year. I used it up so sad. I love this packaging, the like rich, like red color with the gold top. And then I was watching Mr. Kong's mom, who is Melanie, and I love her. She makes great videos about candles and beauty, so it's like the best of both worlds. And she was talking about her favorite Bath & Body Works candles for the fall. And she mentioned this one, Smoked Berries and Incense. And she said it's a very like specific scent. Not everyone would love it, but she really loved it, blah, blah, blah. So I went to the store that weekend. I smelled it and it is this candle repackaged. And I could not have been more thankful for her just like randomly mentioning it. And if I didn't trust her opinion so much, I would have never like went out specifically to look for this. But I'm so glad that I did because this candle is like above all of these other ones. This is my all time favorite scent. And I could just live in a world that smelled like this. And I think I've said that before, but to me, this smells so good. And I'll read to you the bottom of it because I can't thoroughly explain the amazingness of it. Like to me, it smells amazing. My sister, she hates this scent. So just be warned about that. It says, relax with a mysteriously beautiful blend of cedarwood incense, smoked red berries, and a hint of Madagascar vanilla bean. And I just get so much of like that berry scent and, but not like 
cloying berry. It's like a sophisticated, refined berry with like m musk to it, but I don't want you to think like it's super musky. It's not. It's just so amazing. You have to smell it. These are the most expensive candles I've ever seen from Bath & Body Works. They're $30 each, which is ridiculous. Like, even though I love this so much and I'm super tempted to buy it for $30, I never would because that is bananas. Bath & Body Works candles burn so fast, especially scents that I love. I just go through them way too quickly to ever justify $30 for a single candle. So um, I got these when they were two for 22 and that is a super amazing deal because I got two for less than the price of one. And so I think I have three backups of this and I really want to get more. I hope that they'll have these in like the semi-annual sale or something or at least bring them back next year because I am so obsessed with this. My favorite scent ever. Oh my god, I just want to like bathe myself in this scent and I so wish Victoria's Secret still had the like lotion that smelled like this and Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret are owned by the same company so uh, it makes a lot of sense. But this is so amazing. I cannot rave about it enough. So if you have tried it and you love it, I think that we're separated at birth because I am so, so obsessed with it. Okay, my last candle is super amazing as well, of course, and I don't usually like Yankee candles. I've bought probably five in the past year. They are all so disappointing to me except for this one. This is the chocolate layer cake Yankee candle and this is just a small one I got this from Marshalls for $5.99 I want like a giant one of this this is also one of my family's favorite scents because it smells like straight up brownies like when I am burning this it smells like we are baking brownies in the house like all day long it just smells like chocolate there is no no other way to explain it and it is so fantastic the throw is incredible especially for a Yankee candle like it's way way better than any other Yankee candle I have and it smells the same when you smell it cold as when it's burning and I find that with Yankee candles that is rarely the case at least with the ones that I've tried but this one it's just a small size but it's so amazing I'm really trying to be sparing with it. I burned it for like a few weeks and then I like stopped because I don't want to run out of it. And um, I think that this is a permanent scent, but I'm never sure because I don't follow Yankee Candle. But if you like the way chocolate smells, like if you want your house to smell like the Hershey Chocolate Factory, you have to get this or at least smell it because you will be so impressed. So that is my raving about candles and I didn't know that I felt so strongly about these candles like I love the way they smell but I never like talk about candles in like real life so I never knew like how much I absolutely love these but this spul spiced malt what is this even called smoked berries and incense I'm thinking about the old name oh my god this is like oh. I want to marry it. It's so amazing. So that is that. And I just wanted to um, like have a little conversation with you guys about the um, Sephora $20, $25. Is be Do beauty insiders get like $15 off? I don't know. You have to tell me. But this started today. The gift cards from Sephora. I'm a VIB, so I get $20 off a $50 minimum purchase today, December 3rd through Monday, December 15th. So that's a pretty good like time span. Um, if you are waiting for payday to do this like I am, but I'm really um, considering getting the Glam Glow gift set. I think it's called Gift Sexy. I was just looking it up on Sephora's website. It's $69. You get a 1.7 ounce of the Thirsty Mud, which is like the hydrating um, face mask, and then you get a 0.5 fluid ounce of the White one which is like my favorite I can't remember what that's called and then the black one you also get a 0.5 uh, fluid ounce which is the youth mud tingle tingle exfoliating treatment so that's a really good deal and I wasn't going to buy it all those times in the VIB sale because I was like I don't need all those ones and I hadn't tried the white one so I wasn't sure if I wanted it and then Natasha sent me the sample of it and I love it and I used the, bl the black one last night and I just 
really really like glam glow I've come to the realization and I know that it's so, it's so expensive but that set is a really awesome deal so I'm thinking about using this gift card towards that because then it would bring it down to $49 and it just makes it a little bit easier to swallow and I'm also going to um, return the Formula X nail polish that I was talking to you guys about like last week or two weeks ago um, in Obsessed because it is a beautiful color but it just isn't it chips on me in like five seconds and it doesn't look right on my nails so I found the receipt thank god I have been keeping receipts more lately so I'm gonna return this and just like put that money towards um the glam glow set but uh what are you guys buying with your gift card if you're getting anything I did they do this last year because I've never been a VIB so I don't know anything about this um but it's really cool and it's kind of nice to be a beauty insider to get these perks around this time of the year and um I have so much Christmas shopping to do I'm so so behind and um that's what tomorrow is my payday so I have to put like all my money towards that but I, I might just get that gift set for myself just because I don't know because it's $20 off and when else is that gonna happen so that's that. Let me know what you guys are thinking about picking up in that sale. I, like, all of my Sephora favorite videos and stuff are still totally applicable. Like, all the things that I've loved and talked about before are still things I really recommend. So if you want ideas, I'll link those down below if you're interested. So that is that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And also my scarf is giant. Like, I love it. And my hair is, ugh, crazy. But, um, I just got this in the mail from Aerie. It's something that I bought um, this weekend with like their 40% off the whole store sale and it is gorgeous and cozy and amazing and I will be doing a haul in the next few weeks. I don't know when because I'm still waiting for things to come in. It's been like over a month that I've been waiting for some things um, but I'm like collecting things and I'll have a kind of exciting haul. It'll be some beauty, some random, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, blah, blah, blah. So that'll be cool. And like I said, if you have any requests on what types of like topics to talk about for my um, top five series, top five favorite series, please let me know in the comments because I have a bunch of ideas, but I would really like to hear what you guys want to see from me. So that would be awesome. And yeah, I think that's it. So I hope that you guys are having a great week so far. I hope that you're staying warm and cozy and are able to relax at least a little bit between your work or school time. But yeah, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I will see you really soon. Bye. Mud wine and spice. Why is this like curly? Like why? <sighs> oh my god, I'm so gonna drop these. Ooh, it's so heavy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I should get an award for this. Oh my god. Ooh.